Caleb Tallman, Team FY in Sports. I'm joined with uh, Thomasville Bulldogs head coach Ann Ferguson. Uh, appreciate you taking some time for us, Coach. Uh, and y'all got a, a big game coming to Hayesville uh, tomorrow night. Uh, first off, just tell me, I mean, I, I actually watched, I think, the end of one of them on NFHS when you played uh, one of our conference opponents. But it seems like y'all have had a, an action-packed playoff so far with us and buzzer beaters. And uh, you're, you're finding a way to win all the close games right now. Well, that's what we talk about, you know, in the locker room is good teams find a way to win. And our, our conference schedule, we didn't have a lot of close games. You know, it seems like, um, you know, it was always about a 10-point margin or something like that. So the guys really fought. You know, I, I think anybody would tell you in the playoffs, there's always a little bit of luck that goes into it as well. And so the, the last two games especially have been really exciting there at the end. And then uh, up, up to this point uh... – you know, you've got to play at your home gym for the first three rounds, got to protect home court, which is always good. Uh, what do you expect to be different? And I know it's a it's a long drive for y'all. It's a school day, too. Um, what are y'all's travel plans coming over, and how do you try to keep it as regular as possible? If I'm guessing I've not looked at your schedule too detailed, but this is probably one of your longer trips of the year. It is. You know, we're, we're very fortunate. Thomasville City Schools is sending us with a charter bus, and so we'll try to break it up, you know, stop, stretch our legs some, and – and get some shots up kind of along the way and stuff like that. But, you know, we, we've talked all season long about you can't let environment dictate performance. And so we'll try to have a pretty good practice today and, and really just stay focused on the task at hand and, and do the best that we can when we get there. Um, tell us, uh, and obviously I know it's, it's really hard with, uh, we actually had an extra day between games this time. Um, but, you know, every single game, it's been one day, one day and then another mm -hmm. game. We did have two days between this matchup. Tell uh, tell us what you know uh, coming into Hazel and what you expect uh, from your opponent. Obviously, they're they're really good. Um, you know, their their guy down low is an absolute monster. The point guard's really good. We know they can put a lot of points on the board from behind the arc, and so probably one of the most well complete teams that we're going to be uh, going up against. But all along, you know, you talked about the quick turnaround. That's how it's been, I know, for everybody this year. Between COVID and weather, uh, at least in our part of the state, the last three weeks of the season, we had at least three games each week. And one of those weeks, we have four games. And so quick turnaround, we've found a lot of success by focusing on what we do a lot. And so we're going to try to play our game. But you got to make adjustments for the height down low and the strength down low and just the composure of the team. They're well coached. They're going to try to do what they do. So I hope it'll be a pretty good matchup. I know we're going to be challenged for sure. Yeah, uh, and you, you talked about focusing on your team and uh, focusing on what you guys are doing. If, if you don't mind, just share about some of your team leaders um, and uh, your guys that are playing really well right now. I was impressed. I mean, look, just looking at your max prep stats, you got five different guys averaging over eight points a game mm -hmm. uh, and you know, no one more than 13. So it seems like y'all are really spread out and it's not a – oh, if we shut so-and-so down, uh, we're going to be have a good night, but rather you guys are, are really balanced. Yeah, you know, I, that's something that has made our team special this year is it genuinely is an atmosphere where they don't seem to care who's putting the points on the board. They just want to put points on the board for the team. And so if you look at, you know, Janari Lucky hit the game-winning shot Thursday night against Swain County – and then didn't have a great offensive game points-wise Saturday. You know, it was different people stepping up. Lameek Washington stepped up for us. Jonathan Gladden, Jabri Carolina led us with 15. And so, you know, I think that's made it a little hard for other teams at times. You can take one guy away, two guys away, but you never know who's really going to step up for us. And so um, we distribute the ball pretty well. I hope that we continue to do that um, and just, like I said, switch it around, see who's going to be hitting – see who the lineup is. We, we, we typically play 11 guys a night. And so that's something that's a little unique uh, versus teams that we've been going up against. I think that we are more, you know, we're, we're structured a little better to be able to play these games back to back to back. So we're not relying on only, you know, five, six, seven guys to be out there and do all the work. Absolutely. Um, just got one last question for you, uh, if you don't mind. Uh, we, won't, we won't ask you to give away the keys of the kingdom or anything, but uh, what's maybe one thing you're looking for your team to do uh, on Tuesday night and maybe what's one thing you feel like you need to do uh, limiting Hayesville um, to come away uh, with the victory on Tuesday night? Yeah, so for us, honestly, I think the biggest key is going to be, again, not letting environment dictate performance. We've got a pretty long road trip ahead of us. 
and we're doing something, you know, we don't, we're not a college team. We don't travel this far. We don't travel on a charter bus and things like that. So, you know, it, it seems like to some extent the circus is in town and we got to not, you know, we have to focus on what we do in the task at hand. So just staying focused on what we do is going to be the biggest thing. And I'm sure anybody that you've asked the question of will probably answer the same way, man, we've got to box out. That is going to be absolutely huge um, to eliminate their, you know, if if they do miss the shot, which we know they're really good, um, eliminate the second, third, fourth chance opportunities and that really, really strong uh, presence in the paint that Hayesville has. So it's going to be a, a mark of us growing um, and getting better at the things we've struggled with at times this year, I think. I've got you, Coach. Well, I appreciate it. I appreciate you taking some time for us. Uh, we look forward to seeing you in person. Uh, for any of the Thomasville fans watching this interview, uh, we'll let you know, and I'll make sure uh, you're, the coach and the AD get all the links and such. But uh, this game will be broadcast live on the FYNTV.com network. Uh, so first off, hey, if you can make the drive, come out, support these players in person. Uh, there's nothing better that you can do than that. But we also understand on a Tuesday afternoon, if you can't get out of work in time uh, to make a long trip all the way down to Hayesville, uh, we'd love to have you join us and watch on the broadcast. Uh, and, Coach, we wish you all the best of luck and wish you safe travels coming down tomorrow. All right. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Coach.